as a result of this year? What was the biggest learning curve, I suppose, that you came across in your management year? I think the big thing is pacing the year out. That was a long yeah. season. Well, you hope it's going to be a long yeah. season. I had a great fear of other people being involved, how they contribute and how they wouldn't, who would be positive and who would be negative. Yeah. And as the year has gone on, I've definitely learned that delegation is of paramount importance. Mm. But then it takes time to know who you can trust. And I suppose it's not just delegation to your coaches and the backroom people. It's also delegating maybe responsibilities and duties to the players. There's a learning process there all the time, and I certainly find that out even this year, you know. But do you reinvent even the personnel that you're surrounding yourself by? Or Since 2005, it's basically the same package that we're working with. But all of us recognise that um, we need to keep on finding out more about our, our forces, if you like, our troops, so to speak. How have you managed to keep those guys hungry and fresh? It, it isn't easy, that's for sure. And I suppose it takes time. Maybe that's why we probably didn't follow up our All Ireland successes in the past. You know, you, you can't lean on stuff, even stuff that was successful for you. People talk about provincial championships not being as important as they used to be. I think they're very important for many teams. Most teams they still value their provincial title. They see it as a stepping stone to better things. It's a better route to go anywhere. If the players don't have the desire to come back from defeat against Down, or for our players to come back from their defeat against Dublin, it, it, the players have to have that intrinsically in them. You have a serious influence on it. You have to lead. You, the coach, you, the person who they're going to look to to say, you know, where are we here? Are we in a bad place? And is this the end of the road for us? And are we a depleted force? I think that your belief in yourself, first of all, and then portraying that to them. How ambitious are you for more? And, you know, let's work on that. Let, let ambition be the key. Which GA, the business and amateur sport, mm. does ambition come hand in hand with more self sacrifice? I don't even like using the word sacrifice. It's no sacrifice doing what you love doing. It's, it's, it's changing the language around that. It's not a sacrifice, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to be involved at that level in playing Gaelic games, representing your county. Here's Brian Doher. He scored in the All-Ireland final when he took the hit and carried on down the sideline. It was mm. just, it was because he seemed to have been having a quiet game exactly. up to that point. Exactly. Not just lift it, it seemed to lift everything. Fantastic learning for everybody there too, that you know, if things don't go too well for you at the start, you don't hang the shoulders, hang the head and say, it's not my day. You say, right, I'm going to make it my day. And at that point, I, I don't think I'll ever see a better one. In a more important game, such a defiant score, I think that just said so much. And Tyrone are the All-Ireland Football Champions! Good to talk to you. You too, you too. <laughs>